let's put a little wire in the top of a mask today. I'm making a pair of masks as a gift for my niece and her, my grandniece. And so here is the one completed for my little grandniece whose birthday is coming up. And here's the one for her mom. I have not turned it yet and I haven't put the casing in yet for the wire. So we're gonna do that together. You can see I've sewn the bottom seam I've sewn the chin piece on, the dart in, and this top seam, 5 8 inch across that nose area so we can get a nice casing for the wire. So now I'm going to come to the sewing machine and I'm going to tip you around here so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Still getting used to this camera. So I'm going to stitch along my existing seam first forward and back so I anchor it and then I'm going to turn and go forward forward and back a little bit as you see then I'm going to raise up that foot and come back and then so parallel along the seam line and I'm going to stop at about three inches long so that I have this great little place here, as you see, I've created this casing. Now we're going to put the wire in, and I've already made the wire. It's some jewelry wire that was in the stash. As you see, it has two little um, sort of ends on the edges so that it will not um, poke through. And that's what I'm trying to do, create this great casing that the wire cannot poke through. So there's the wire. It's been put in, as you see, through that hole into the casing. Boom, boom, boom. And now I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and close up this edge right here so that the wire stays completely in place. And I'm going to again go backwards and forwards and then also along my existing previous seam line so that that wire can't work its way through no matter what I do. So there you see the rest of the casing finished. This puts the wire right up at the nose as you see on Rory's little mask so that it has um, just the perfect amount of structure so the mask is an excellent tool to keep us safe. Happy sewing!